this camper van is the Heimer Airs Rock 541 centimeter long camper van on the Fiat Ducato. This thing here will cost in excess of 59,000 euros. It offers four sleeping places and it has well over 500 kilos of payload. So uh, there's, you can carry stacks of stuff in this. Now, uh, this vehicle here uh, distinguishes itself by having the lights on and at the back we've got this widthwise bed which has this system, uh, Frovi system uh, and also storage under the, uh, the bed as well. At the back Oh, just hit my head on the uh, the, uh, <laughs> the the storage. Uh, you've got a space here, which is designed to keep uh, chairs and other outdoor equipment. And behind that, we've got the gas, which goes in there. But just to demonstrate this, I'll just nip over to the next van, where which is one that's been done earlier, to show how the uh, outdoor chairs, deck chairs, the tables and what have you will actually fit in to that recess. Now uh, this vehicle here doesn't have um, the eyelets that, uh, and the lashing straps that others have. If you want that I'll show you a different vehicle in a short while. But all the same you can actually store quite a lot of material and stuff down here. Indeed if you there you go, we've got these drawers, which is one of the outstanding points of the Heimer camper vans, is that it does actually think of providing storage inside. If you want to bang your head, as I just did, uh, you'd uh, obviously want to ensure you've got storage up here as well. And uh, there you go, there's a look inside. One little feature here is the provision for a wardrobe up there. I did the same thing in my motorhome. In my case it didn't really work very well, but I think I need to work on it a bit longer to actually get the thing to work. But if you want to keep your clothing sort of pressed, then that will do. Um, let's come into the, the washroom. Now, uh, here we have a uh, very large washroom for such a small vehicle so there's me i'm okay and well i'm touching the roof almost not much space under me but i've got my shoes on and the duckboard's in place which is normally not what i do when i have a shower and well i haven't tried it yet toilet here it's got one of these sinks though and i don't like these sinks at all in fact i'm a bit frightened of using it to show how it works it comes up it comes up and down. They break really, really easily. This is a showroom and I rather fear that that might already be broken. So I don't even want to try to use it. Uh, this does have the benefit of a really nice sliding door. On this side here, we have got two burners and a sink as you'd expect and nice on the outside but not so good on the inside drawers down here as well a bit of storage up here in here the uh, vehicle has this t folding table which will fold up into uh, to be either that's in the zero position 50% position or you can have it out completely using both of these. Sorry. They've got shore power, they've got a 12 volt supply, uh, which is always, always useful. More storage here and storage in the bulwark. And of course, there's a tent in the roof giving you all of this uh, sleeping should you want, but bear in mind, it's a tent. It's gonna get pretty cold in uh, winter indeed it's now september and to be quite honest uh 
Ah, the temperature dropping to eight degrees. Well, you need a reasonable sleeping bag for that. Of course, you can get a ladder if you feel you can't pull yourself up that gap there. Um, there we, ha we have electric, see what's going on with electricity. And there we have our Truma iNet uh, heating uh, system from the two gas bottles which are located at the back. Shore power, that's the lights. Oh, they were off. Oh, and that's the outside light. I'll leave that one off, it's not necessary. And fridge. And if you can't be bothered to walk inside when you're outside, there's that there. I think that that is a pretty nice small vehicle, easy to park, six speed manual gearbox. Uh, it's got a lot, in my opinion. But let's have a look at this one here, which is an even nicer color, which is the 3540 Blue Evolution. In this condition, it's going to cost 70,000, uh, sorry, 67,000 euros. This one's been sold. And uh, let's have a look at some of the differences. So, the fixed table, which the other one had the uh, sort of in parts. It's also got a tent in the roof, which is exactly the same. It's got a blue awning, this one, anthracite awning. Uh, we've got this wardrobe like thing here We have got uh, a better in my opinion toilet because it's got a fixed sink uh, Which uh, will be harder to break and we've got lashing straps at the bottom which the other one didn't have but up there we don't have the storage, but these, these storage compartments are actually larger. So, and uh, once more, this thing here though, doesn't actually open up. Uh, uh, storage as well, down here. So storage is slightly different. And for that, it's got a different name. This one, of course, has a much nicer color on the outside. So, of the two, well, I'd sort of pick bits, I'd want to pick bits of each. But I think a 541 camper van meets, is much better than, for example, a 534 centimetre camper car that doesn't have sanitary facilities. At least that's what I think. I'm sure the dog would also agree with that. Good. So, there you have it. Uh, Heimer Airs Rock camper van 541 centimeters in length and thanks very much for watching